they called his name Jalen Suggs from Minnesota, and he did like this. And I looked, and I was like, and he was like, man, I'm going to do that to the day I stop playing basketball. Huh? Jalen Suggs is one of the most celebrated players in college basketball this year. Whenever he steps out onto the court, though, he celebrates one person. I sat down with Jalen to talk about the gesture he makes before every tip and the person he does it for. That's kind of the mindset that I kind of that I carry, you know, into every game. You know, I throw my eggs, you know, I, I let them know that I'm thinking about them and I just go kill. Xavier Pollard was the older brother Jalen Suggs never had. They met when Jalen was just four years old. I mean, every practice, every game, Jalen was just like right there looking at X, like, like, you know what I mean? Um, he was, he was, he was a character. A lot of the stuff that you see from me, especially on the basketball court, uh, I got from him. He was confident. He was, he loved to talk, to talk trash, and he fed off of that. Um, and he put his work in. He reminds me so much of X. I mean, just, ugh, just like fearless. Xavier's time on this earth was cut short though. A few years ago, he died from suicide. It was really hard. It was something that I didn't like really accept at first. Jalen was 16 when Xavier passed away at the age of 20. Jalen received one final gift from X at his funeral though, and it inspired the gesture that Jalen now does before every contest. Leading up to the service, you know, I was in conversations with my son, you know, in prayer. And uh, and he actually said to me that you need to say this at my service. And it said, Jalen, when you get drafted and you walk across that stage, just give it up for me. And that's why he always do like that now. I think that's the first time I've been completely um, not in control of my emotions. I broke down in tears. Um, I've never cried. I never cried like that before, ever since then. I mean, uh, I, that's what I go out and play for every night. I know he's watching, and again, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fulfill that and live out that dream. You know that we both talked about when we were kids. The emotions Jalen felt that day also inspired him to live his life more honestly for his friend, who no longer can. Just what have you learned from from his passing? Just, it, it's okay, you know, to open up and let, let people know, you know, what's going on, especially your people, um, you know, and I and I was the type of person, again, to, to keep everything in and, you know, try to find it all myself and, and deal with it. No more for Jalen, who, along with throwing up the X, talks to Xavier during every national anthem. Um, I just, I think about, like, memories that we had, uh, things that he used to do and he used to say. Um, just let him know that I'm going out of the hoop for him, man, honestly. Um, yeah. With every national anthem, every sign of the cross, and every X, Jalen hopes to get closer to their collective dream. Jalen's basketball journey started with Xavier by his side, and Jalen refuses to let that ever change. Do you plan on continuing the tradition once you get to the NBA? Every day. Every game. Xavier's father, Trey, now has an organization called We Push for Peace to help with violence prevention in Minneapolis. Just a few months ago, they opened Xavier's Employment and Training Center, which gives young people free mental health assessments and helps them find jobs in exchange for putting their guns down. Jalen has already told Trey he wants to volunteer when he's home next. If you or anyone you know is considering committing suicide, we urge you to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. We'll be back with more after the break.